okay so today i want to share with you guys how to share valuable content and if i'm looking down it's because i'm looking at my notes to make sure that i don't miss anything so um today i want to share with you how to share valuable uh 10 ways to share valuable content uh on facebook to generate five uh, 10 plus leads a day excuse me 10 plus leads a day and two to five sales per week there you go okay so if you guys are excited about learning how to do that, just type excited down below and let's go ahead and get ready to get started. So these are kind of, uh, I just want to share with you the different formats. Yesterday I did a video and I asked you guys if you wanted me to share with you, um, you know, the format, some of the formats and ideas for you to go out there and create content with. Now there's a whole bunch of different types of formats. But um, today I'm going to share with you 10 of them, okay? Um, and then, you know, let me know your thoughts down below because I would love for this to be kind of an interaction thing. Hey, Joe. Hey, Woon Me. <laughs> How you guys doing? Okay, so let's jump right into it. So the first one is going to be the obvious live streams, okay? Both free and paid live streams. Um, free meaning it is on your regular Facebook wall paid meaning it is on your fan page and you're boosting it up and you're running an ad to it and you're getting you know your target audience to actually see that and to be honest all these 10 uh, ways for you to create content all these types of different content that you can create that you know you can do them both free on Facebook on your regular wall free on your fan page but then you can also you know, um, run an ad on that actual post and it doesn't even cost a lot of money. We talked about that the other day as well. So, um, live streams is one free and paid. Okay. And, and again, all of these are free and paid. Um, number two, upload pre-recorded videos. So if you have videos that you have pre-recorded, you can simply upload them to Facebook, either on your fan page or on your wall. If you're doing blog posts, like I do blogging. So if you're doing blog posts, that's another format for creating content. If you're, you know, want to create PDF downloads, great way to create content and get some content out there and start generating leads with PDF downloads. Uh, Facebook notes. I don't really use Facebook notes, um, but I've seen other marketers use Facebook notes and I think it's a great one of the great ways to generate leads and to convert, convert those leads into sales. Um, images or infographs, right? If you are using Canva, let's say for example, that's a free tool where you can create images um, and infographs and things like that. The next one is webinars. Okay, you know, you guys know that I'm a big fan of webinars. I absolutely love to host webinars. I think it's a fantastic way to add a ton of value and then segue people into buying whatever it is that you want to buy. The next one is conference calls. Okay, conference calls has been hot back then, you know, and it's still hot today and it's going to continue to be hot tomorrow in years to come. Conference calls is another great way to provide a ton of value to the marketplace. Number nine is podcasts. You know, you can actually do podcasts. I did a video on this the other day too, where you can actually do bod podcasts uh, right here on Facebook. Okay, I'm um, just doing audio, uh, you know, audio lives. Okay, and again, you can do this on your wall or your fan page. And finally, number 10 is text format. I mean, you can't get any more simpler than that. Creating valuable content via text, okay? So now that we have our 10 ways, uh, the, the types of content that you can actually go out there and start sharing, which I'll recap and then we'll get into some brainstorming on what to talk about in the Facebook Lives and the PDFs and all that stuff. So just to recap the 10, you got the live streams, uploaded pre-recorded videos, blog posts, PDF downloads, Facebook notes, images or infographs. Uh, webinars, conference calls, podca podcasts, and text format. Okay, so you have your 10, but again, these are just only 10. There's, there's tons of other ways or formats, I should say, 
for creating content out there. But these are like my top 10. Um, well, I really use like nine of them consistently. <laughs> And, um, but you know, like I said, the Facebook notes is also a great way. I don't, that's the only one out of the 10 that I do not use. Um, but again, I've seen other people using it and, you know, I see the kind of results that they get. So let's talk about now that we have the, the formats, what kind of formats are you going to deliver your content in? Now we need to talk about, um, and by the way, before I, I share with you what I'm going to share with you next. I shared with you the 10, right? So if you know other formats, maybe other formats that you're doing right now or know of, post the type of formats down below. Okay, so if you're just tuning in, just to recap, 10 formats, live streams, uploaded videos, blog posts, PDF downloads, Facebook notes, uh, images or infographs, webinars, conference calls, podcasts, and text formats. Okay, so those are the top 10 formats. Now let's talk about, um, you know, if you decide to do live streams, what are you gonna be doing on those live streams? If you decide to create PDF downloads, what are you gonna be doing on those PDF downloads, right? If you're gonna be doing podcasts, what are you gonna be doing on those podcasts? So let's talk a little bit um, about the content that goes, that you could deliver through those 10 types of formats. Okay, so the first one, is let's say for example you are in um, you are in yes Barbara Facebook ads applies to all ten formats okay so like I said in the beginning of the webinar of this live stream those ten formats can be done free or paid through Facebook ads solo ads whatever kind of ads you want to um, they both work hand in hand okay but these are just formats that we're talking about Facebook ads is not a format. Um, Facebook ads is a strategy, but it's not a format. It's not, it's not, you know, a, a download. It's not, you know, a, a live stream. It's an ad and you can run an ad to pretty much all 10 of those. Okay. So, um, so what kind of content can you, content can you put inside of these top 10 formats? Okay. That's the question. That's the thing we're going to talk about next. So if you are in the health and wellness niche, let's say, for example, you could maybe do cooking shows, right? You can be in your kitchen sharing some recipes and then at the end, call to action segues into whatever it is that you're trying to sell. Uh, if you are, you know, teaching people how to do stuff, which I don't care what, what niche you're in, whatever niche that you're in, you should be teaching people how to do stuff. Okay, that's what you call adding value, creating content. Creating content is about teaching people how to do a specific thing, right? Sharing information that people will most likely gravitate to, okay? And people love to get valuable information that's gonna help them solve a problem. So that's the type of information, information that you need to be creating. So um, you can do screen shares, you know, like, what you know like uh, what I do with my zoom you know or you know if you're doing screen shares on your phone and you're uploading because there's a way you do it on your phone it's not live but you can upload the screen shares from your phone to whatever platform you want to uh, uh, upload them to so sharing uh, screen shares meaning that you're sharing your screen and you're showing people how to do something um, the next one is promoting your upcoming webinars so for example, if I was doing like a cooking show, I would obviously do a Facebook Live on cooking shows. If I was doing uh, screen shares, which I've done plenty of times, on doing, you know, teaching people how to do a specific thing, I would probably go live or I would do a webinar. See, those are the type of formats I can incorporate these kind of things to, right? The next one uh, I said is promoting your upcoming webinar or events. How can you use one of those formats to do that? Well, I can promote my upcoming webinar or event through a Facebook Live. I can promote my upcoming event or webinar through an image or you know something like that, or a podcast that I'm doing, I can promote it. So there's different ways that I can actually promote my events and my upcoming webinars. Um, sharing behind the scenes, people always love to see, because they're nosy, people are just nosy which is why 
um, reality TV is so hot right now and there's a reality TV popping up, you know, all over the place right now. In fact, I'll be on a lot of reality TV soon, so shh, don't say anything. But anyway, you didn't hear me say that. <laughs> but people love reality TV because they want to be engaged and they want to be all up in your business because people are naturally nosy bodies. And so they love reality TV. And so if you are sharing the behind the scenes things of what's going on in your business or maybe in your team or whatever the case may be, um, you can do that in images, you can do that in video format and all that kind of stuff, live, you know, live stream format or whatever. Um, breakthroughs. So if you're having breakthroughs, you can do that on a webinar, you can share your breakthroughs on a live stream, you can share your breakthroughs through just a plain text format. Okay, so there's different ways that you can do uh, share your breakthroughs. Next one is results, right? So if you're getting some kind of results, if you're using, if you're drinking that shake and you know, you lost 10 pounds drinking that shake, share the results. Don't share the images and the logo, just share the results and give people a call to action to reach out to you to find out what that thing is. And you can do that in a number of um, what, you know, formats. You can do that through podcasts. You can do that through webinars. You can do that through a text format, through an image format. So many different ways to promote you know, that one specific result. Um, the next one is success stories. And I'm going to run down the line. I'm going to cut this real short because i got a lot of things to do today. But you guys are getting the point, right? Like what I'm teaching you right now is all the different things that you could be sharing in all those 10 formats, okay? So the next one is results, or I said results already. The next one is, what did I say results? Results, so if you got, like I said before, if you are, you know, generated your first lead or your first 100 leads or your first 1,000 leads or maybe you, you know, you hit your first $10,000 a month or something like that, or even if you hit your first $100 a month, you need to be sharing those things. <laughs> Rusty! Hold on, let me let him out. Because he wants to get out. Rusty! Shh. You're interrupting my life, boy. Get out. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, guys. He's just blowing his top right now. <laughs> but anyway, um, the next one is going to be recipes. Okay, and I'm sorry for his barking, but he's like back over there. Shh. You want a snack? Got to be a good boy. Be quiet. Okay, so the next one is success stories, okay? Uh, you can go out there and share your success stories, other people's success stories, you know, coaching clients' success stories, team members' success stories, and once again, you can use it in any of those formats that I, uh, that I shared with you. Interviews, okay? Happens to me all the time. I know Bravo, he drives me crazy. Anytime he hears something or sees something, he's like going crazy. But anyway, we're not gonna let Rusty stop the show today. We're gonna keep going. Okay, so the next one is um, interviews. Reach out to other people who are having success with your product, success with your business opportunity, success you know, with maybe um, the things that you are teaching them and they're actually getting results with, pull them out on webinars. You know, create an image, you know, you know um, not, not the image, um, a podcast, and interview them, right? Very simple, okay? You're sharing, you're basically sharing the interviews. The next one is product reviews. And if you're, you know, you have your, you, you know that I do not teach, you know, people to go out there and spam their products, images all over the place. There are specific platforms where it's okay to do that, where it's acceptable to do that. Um, and I'll just share three right now. The first one is through a fan page on Facebook that is specifically uh, for that specific product or maybe the group of products that you're selling, okay? And if you want to create a product review and put it on your fan page, great, okay? But don't do that on your regular wall because this is social media and it's, it's kind of icky. 
Another format to do that is YouTube videos, okay? So that would be a pre-recorded video or maybe even a live video uh, where you're sharing product reviews over there on YouTube. And the third one would be blog posts, right? You can start sharing your products by creating blog posts and then syndicating it out there. Um, the next one is book reviews is a great way to create content. And remember guys, all of these ideas, all of these, you know, this brainstorming session that we're having right now, all these ideas that I'm throwing at you right now, these can all be in all these different, any kind of format that you want it to be. Okay. So just remember that, um, book reviews. Okay. So if you are reading a book and you're having breakthroughs and you're learning something, go out there and teach it, do a review on that. But just remember that all of these things I'm sharing with you, they can easily be, you can easily segue them into whatever it is that you're trying to sell on the back end. Remember, it's all about creating free content and then leading those people into something they have to pay for. Okay. Not giving away all the golden nuggets, but giving them just enough to that, so that they fall in love with you and you're pulling them, your, your, your information is so valuable that by the time you, at the end, by the time it's time for you to pitch them on something, then it's going to make the money transaction a little easier for you. Why? Because you didn't just blatantly just throw up on them without adding some kind of value. That's why it's so important that you need to add value. The next one is um, notes. So if you are attending webinars, if you are attending events, if you're attending conference calls and things like that, and you're taking notes, which I hope that you are, those notes can be turned into pieces of content. Or you can actually go out there and do maybe a Facebook Live and share your notes. Or you can create an image for each note. Or you can do, you know, um, a, a webinar or a podcast on all the notes that you, that you, um, Ooh, hold on, I got a little pop up on all the notes that you have, right? And you can create content out of those little notes. So those notes equals money. Okay. So just remember that recipes. Okay. So this is good. If you're in the health and wellness niche, um, I don't care what it is that you're promoting. It could be a shake. It could be supplements, you know, whatever it is. You can start creating recipes and you can do that through Facebook lives, blogging, you know, things like that and lead people into that product. If you're getting value from this guys, say value down below. I want to know, I want to make sure that your brain is working. Cause remember this is a brainstorming session. How can I create content? that people are going to be attracted to so that I can segue them into buying my stuff. That's how you have to think, uh, you know, in this online world. Okay. The next one is cheat sheets. Okay. So if you, you know, are creating like cheat sheets or, you know, worksheets or flow charts, so anything like that, you can create those through a PDF format and then you can promote them through, a, um, through a, a video or a live stream or a blog post or a text, you know, uh, a status update or an image. Do you see where I'm going with this, right? So cheat sheets, worksheets, and flow charts, super powerful and very, very effective when it comes to uh, generating leads and sales with them. And finally, the last one is maybe you're sharing your top I don't know, top 10 or five or 20 or however many tools, your top tools and resources that you use in your business, maybe in, you know, maybe you're using a, a, health, a health and wellness product and you're using these tools to support your journey or something like that, right? What are your top tools? And now, so just remember that all these things that I shared with you in this brainstorming session, can be converted, or I should say, not, not converted, they can be um, created into any of those 10 formats that I shared with you. So, so if you're just um, tuning in right now, I will just go over the top 10 really quickly. 
live streams, uploaded pre-recorded videos, blog posts, PDF downloads, Facebook notes, images and infographs, webinars, conference calls, podcasts, and text messages. So those are the top 10. So if you guys got some value from that, let me know. Just type value down below. And also be sure to, um, I am doing a, um, a free five day prospecting, Facebook prospecting challenge. I'm gonna teach you how I'm getting results on Facebook and what I'm doing to teach you know other people how to get those same kind of results. And you, I mean, if, if go to my wall, you'll see some of the results that people have been um, sharing. Or if you join our group, it's a free group. Um, you can find it at socialengagementacademy.com. Um, and it, it, I'll put the link up here, and I'll also put it down in the description below if you're watching on YouTube as well. All right, so be sure to uh, enroll in that free five-day challenge because it starts on Monday, December 11th, and it runs all the way through the 15th. And every day I'm going to be giving you an assignment of what you need to be doing on Facebook to get interaction, to, you know, to get engagement from other people, to make sales. We're gonna be talking about Facebook Lives and all these different things that you need to be doing every single day inside your business to produce real results. Okay, so with that being said, I hope you guys got some value from this. If you did, make sure that you share it. Go to Social Engagement Academy and register socialengagementacademy.com and register for the enroll in the five day, the free five, uh, the free five day Facebook prospecting challenge. <laughs> I'm like all tongue tied because I'm actually in a rush. My husband is like out there, like waving to me, like hurry up. So let me go, guys. I'll see you tomorrow on the next video. Take care.